How to Train Your Dragon Long ago, on the wild, windy island of Berk, a smallish viking with a longish name woke up with a start. Hiccup, horrendous Haddock III, the heir to the viking throne, had been having a terrible nightmare, and now he felt sick with apprehension. Tomorrow was the first day of the dragon initiation program, during which young, aspirational boys were hoping to catch a dragon. As the future king, Hickam knew that he was expected to catch the most terrifying dragon of all. He also knew that he was not the most efficient soldier, and the thought of being within a hundred kilometers of a dragon, let alone catching one, was abhorrent. After breakfast and with a heavy heart, Hiccup trudged to meet the other boys. Snot face, snot mouth was a large, cumbersome boy with gigantic muscular arms and a mean face. He was standing at the front of a large group. Oh, look who it is, jeered snot mouth, pathetic little Hiccup, our future king. Gloating, the other boys turned to point and laugh at Hiccup, who felt even more intimidated than before. Sheepishly, Hiccup's only friend, Fishlegs, sidled up beside him, and with a sympathetic smile, he patted his arm. Don't worry, mate, he whispered. I believe in you. At that moment, the whistle was blown, and the boys dispersed. With trepidation, Hiccup shuffled towards the dragon's cave, which was surrounded by greasy broken bones and other remnants of the beast's dinner. Not wanting to linger, Hiccup got out his basket and went to scoop up the nearest dragon into it. However, just as he was about to close the lid, he sneezed. A huge, echoing sneeze. And a jet of scarlet fire shot across the cave and a gargantuan dragon careered towards Hiccup, sleepy and disoriented from being woken. Hiccup ran for his life, clutching the creaking basket as he went. He ran as fast as a cheetah until he reached the edge of the babbling stream. Hiccup lay back against a huge slimy rock and breathed a sigh of relief. At that moment, he noticed that his basket was wobbling and before he could do anything, a scaly green claw had pushed open the lid and a pair of gleaming gold eyes blinked up at Hiccup. Despite his fear, Hiccup smiled at the eyes because they looked almost as scared as he felt. Slowly, a tiny green dragon, no bigger than a dinner plate, slipped affectionately onto his lap and nuzzled its wet nose into his shirt. Toothless's wide eyes and innocent smile reminded Hiccup of his kind-hearted friend Fishlegs. And it was at that exact moment that Hiccup realised that he had been wrong to be afraid. Some dragons might be big, burly and very loud, but others were kind and gentle and meant no harm to anybody. They're a bit like boys really, thought Hiccup, grinning to himself. <laughs> 